Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores coming with a quick Rico report. The Washington football team has signed a new kicker to the practice squad, Eddie Pinedo. Definitely got to break down the signing. Does he have an actual honest chance of dethroning Dustin Hopkins as our starting, well, really soul kicker? You never keep two kickers. If he ends up winning that starting job, Dustin Hopkins is gone and is at best on the practice squad. But do we need to really read into this? Again, does he have an honest chance? Or is this just a we're signing a guy, giving Dustin Hopkins some competition, maybe some fire under his belly? We're going to dive into all of that. Of course, I got to look at all of the stats when I compare the two. And then, of course, I have to dive into Eddie Pinedo's history to see how good he's been for the teams he's been on. And then also, some people wanted Nick Rose, so I'll also do a quick dive on Nick Rose's stats as well. And then we also got to dive into this video where Ron Rivera at a press conference was talking talking about us potentially making some moves. Was this that move or is there more? Again, we're gonna dive into all of that, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately. And every time I release an informative and opinionated video just like this one, make sure you check out the rest of the channel. I'm getting these fantasy leagues started. I'm working on these rookie film sessions. This is about to be a very busy week and a half for me. So stay tuned for all of the content. And without further ado, man, let's get it. All right, so first of all, again, Washington has signed kicker Eddie Pinedo to the practice squad, not the official 53-man roster. Again, you only keep one kicker at a time, so he's on the practice squad. Every time we get somebody for free like this that was just chilling around on a couch, I always question why, like, what did he do wrong? Is it too good to be true? But when you look at his stats, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure why there wasn't at least one other team that could have signed him sooner than we did. He should have already been on our NFL roster, again, when you look at his stats. Because the last time he played a full NFL season, it was in 2019 for the Bears. He finished that season 23 of 28 with an 82.1 percentage on kickoffs that season. That would have had him tied for 22nd place last year in the NFL with Will Lutz of the New Orleans Saints. Dustin Hopkins last year had a 79.4%. He was 25th, so it's not a huge difference, but it's still a difference. Also, for the Colts this preseason, he was 4 for 4 on kicks, including a 50-yarder. This guy seems like he starts hot. So maybe the trick is have this guy in the beginning of the season and then bring Dustin Hopkins in late because Dustin Hopkins is actually a really good kicker late season. I mean, even last season, he caught fire the last six games. He was eighth in field goal percentage out of all kickers the last six games last year. And it just seems to be a trend that he's done for a few years now. Starts off ugly, starts to pull it together bit by bit in the middle, and then at the end, he gets hot. We can't afford for him to start off ugly like he has been, especially last year. With how tough our schedule is, and we literally have to start 2-0 against the Chargers and Giants, so we can't afford for Dustin Hopkins to lose us games. So, honestly, I'm pretty sure... We're going to bring this guy in, and if Dustin Hopkins performs poorly, then we will replace Dustin Hopkins with Eddie Pinedo. But, I mean, just for comedic purposes, it definitely sounds like it would be better to have this guy in the beginning half of the year and then bring back Dustin Hopkins the second half. Because, again, Dustin Hopkins, statistically, percentage-wise, was the eighth best kicker in the NFL the last six games last year. But he still ranked 25th out of all kickers in the NFL throughout the entire last season because that's just how bad he was before those last six games. But this Eddie Pinedo guy definitely has a leg on him. Again, for the Colts this preseason, he went 4 for 4, including a 50 yarder. But then he just practices kicking 77 yard field goals. Yeah. He's made 77 yard field goals just kicking around. So he has a crazy leg, crazy potential. We'll see. I mean, that's very impressive. Granted, it's just him on the field with one other person. It's not in a game setting that he's made a 77 yard field goal. So don't exactly know how much to read into that. But the fact that he even has the leg to do it is amazing in itself. So it definitely seems like he has a higher ceiling potential wise, but who knows how well that would translate into the field. Again, he outperformed Dustin Hopkins last year, but but usually Dustin Hopkins isn't that bad. Last year was his worst field goal kicking percentage season of his career. He kicked 89% in 2015. 
then 81% 2016, 82% 2017, 89% 2018, 83% 2019, and then again last year, he had his worst season, 79.4%. But out of six years that he's been kicking, Eddie Pinedo has only outperformed two of them with his 2019 season. So I'm not even exactly sure if Eddie Pinedo is the better kicker overall. I mean, even in the 2019 season, Dustin Hopkins outperformed Eddie Pinedo. But is Dustin Hopkins on the decline? Who knows? Again, my main problem with him is that he starts off so sluggish and sloppy and inconsistent, and we just can't afford that this year. But again, overall, statistics-wise, if you're looking at entire seasons, Eddie Pinedo's 2019 season only outperforms two of Dustin Hopkins' seasons, but unfortunately for Dustin Hopkins, one of them is the most recent one, again, his worst one. And then you also have Nick Rose, who a few people want, and he's barely even played. For us in 2017, a 90%, but if you look at his overall entire 2017 season, it was a different story because he was with the Los Angeles Chargers at first. He kicked for them for two games and only made one of his three kicks. He made his one 20 to 29 yarder, missed his 40 to 49 and missed his 50 plus, which left them one for three, which was 33% for the Chargers. And then later on that year, he played eight games with us which is where you get the 10 total games in 2017, and he went 10 for 11. So he went 33% with the Chargers, almost 91% with us, which left them with a 78.6% overall kicking percentage in 2017. So who knows what form of Nick Rose we would get if we were to bring him back. Again, I think it's out of the range of possibilities. We already have Dustin Hopkins, who I feel like is probably on somewhat of a short leash, but even then, I wouldn't be surprised if Dustin Hopkins ends up staying our kicker the entire season. So even with Eddie Pinheiro has a long shot of actually becoming our kicker. So Nick Rose is definitely out of the question because he's not even on the practice squad. I'm pretty sure he's not even on this team's radar. But also, as far as this kicker signing, remember Ron Rivera had a video saying, quote, I tell you this, we're looking at a couple of positions right now and you guys will hopefully have something shortly to write about as far as that's concerned. Here's the video right here. And you do you have you, the one open spot. I'm just curious if, if you don't have a, that extra quarterback this year. Is that something that you're looking at? I know you said it's not no, as No, I, I will tell you this. We're looking at a couple positions right now. And you guys will hopefully have something shortly to write about as far as that's concerned. But right now, you know, I don't want to talk about it because we're still trying to work through some things. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. And I know you all text me to try and find out. And so I'm trying to figure out, along with a lot of people on Twitter in the Burgundy and Gold Nation, was this kicker signing what he was talking about? Or is it potentially still like a big move to get a linebacker? Are we potentially going to go get a Benardrick McKinney? It's been reported that we're interested in him. Not exactly sure what's going on. Rivera said that they are still trying to work some things out. So maybe they're just trying to see a few things with him, talk out contracts, talk out incentives. Maybe they know they want them, but it's just on the business and the money side and negotiation side right now. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Or is there like a big time linebacker that they're trying to trade for and they may be willing to give up draft capital for? Who knows? I don't know. This video is very cryptic. So you be the judge of it. It's really interesting to me. We'll see in the near future. I mean, this Chargers game is next Sunday, nine days away. So we'll see what moves we make. Hopefully before that Chargers game, we'll know, preferably sooner rather than later, because you would want the guy that we would bring in if we bring somebody in to have some time to practice with the team so that they can actually go out there and contribute and be productive against the Chargers. So I doubt we would have to wait till Saturday, the day before the game, to know if we end up signing somebody. But it does sound like Ron Rivera is motivated to make some moves again. The big question is, was signing kicker Eddie Pinedo it? Was that all he was talking about in that video? Or is there more? And if there is more, I'm pretty sure it's a linebacker. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Please get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video. How do you feel about this kicker Eddie Pinedo? Do you like him more than Dustin Hopkins? Do you think he even has a fair chance of taking Dustin Hopkins' job? Or is he just being brought in for competition and to put a fire under Dustin Hopkins' belly to get him to start off faster than he usually does? Also, so with that video that I'm talking about, Ron Rivera saying that they plan on making some moves. Do you think signing this kicker to the practice squad was all he was talking about? Or is there potentially a linebacker move coming or maybe even something bigger? 
I know some people were speculating we would probably bring Luke Keekley from retirement. Highly doubt that, but it's funny. Some people speculated it may be a big move for a franchise quarterback. Doubt that as well. I think linebacker is the more logical and more likely thing as of right now. Y'all know I'm a big go get your franchise quarterback guy. Trade up in the draft if you got to. Go get Aaron Rodgers, whatever it takes. You just can't have sustained success in this league without a franchise quarterback. You can't have any real longevity and consistency season to season without a franchise quarterback. That's what I believe. But I still feel like it is highly unlikely that that's what's going on right now, to be honest. But again, definitely get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about everything. Also, please like this video if you liked it, if you learned anything. And of course, man, I appreciate all of the support, man, big time. Big shouts out to everybody that donates to the channel. A special shouts out to all of my sponsors, especially my Pro Bowl sponsors, who name you see scrolling on the screen right now. Man, I really appreciate all y'all. Man, I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.